Alrighty, next order of business is checking out this big forum post, okay? This is a big deal. Ra Rach, I've, I've been told that Rach rumored that they have over 150 raids prepared already. And that blows me away. So this is a post from uh, Brent Didos, who's been in the community for a long time. Uh, will we see raids come back anytime soon is the question. Uh, doing raids is probably the most fun I've ever had playing the game. Can a mod or a dev answer this question? I, and then Rage goes to say, I can't, provi I can't provide a precise ETA at this stage, but it will take some time as we're working on improving and expanding the feature. The version preview didn't include several intended balancing and quality of life slash polish changes. It was limited to some of the simpler custom effects we're planning to add. Uh, the event gave us a better idea of how players will approach them and how we can improve the overall experience. There's a still, uh, still a fair bit to do to get them to feel as good as we would like and to create a greater variety of boss strategies to build around. We're aiming to launch them in a state we're proud of and hoping it will be worth the wait. Some more, you know, positive reinforcement. You love to see it. Can't wait. Hog players excited all right rage again okay um i was just let's, let's see what this guy said first actually i was discussing something on call with some friends a problem we've seen we've seen was a lot of beginners trolling using teams like uh charizard gyarados and on a zip striker raid can we have something that blocks people from playing raids until a certain requirements uh get met being new and unprepared isn't trolling. Okay, good response. But accessing matchmaking for higher tier raids will require beating multiple raids of the tier below them. This is a cool... This is new information, new news. That's a cool way to uh, almost add a sort of elo or a balancing to the raids. That's actually a genius way to uh, to do it. That's I would have never thought about that. That's super cool. All right. This won't prevent people from entering with bad teams, but it should improve the overall quality of teammates. Yep. You can receive in solo queue for more difficult raids. That demand better teams and teamwork. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, at the end of the day, you probably should just be trying to seek out teammates. Like that's you probably should should just be trying to seek out an actual team built prior to heading into the raid. There's plenty of ways to do so. Um all right. Uh, I keep comparing this as, so this is uh doctor leaving this response i keep comparing this to wow but what's the mmo that's the MMO i played the most and i agree that being um with that being a requirement to be able to join the equivalent of the matchmaking queue for raids you need to have a certain quote-unquote gear score i know that's the name for it uh you get said gear from dungeons so you must be engaged with similar mechanics before trying to have a harder dungeon sure um let's see what rage has to say that's the important part although difficulty uh, modes are a good concept in a lot of games i don't think it's the right approach for this one as there isn't a very big statistical difference between the game's best gear five times 31 optimal uh nature and the game's ultra cheap gear 15 to 20 plus decent true even rage says statistically there's not much of a difference confirmed five times 31s are overrated true and real they're largely going to perform the same the boss itself being part of the reward also means that its hidden ability uh, can't be very valuable if everyone can easily obtain it by playing on a lower difficulty. The boss itself being part of the reward also means that its hidden ability or species can't be valuable. Very valuable if, okay. Intr okay. My preference is to instead spawn multiple raids per rotation with at least one catering to a new player and at least one for better players. So there'll, there will be rotations of raids. There'll be limited timed even in the future, it seems. But obviously, just re like kind of like alpha swarms, maybe. This gives everyone something to do and incentivizes building a better, bigger and better toolkit to be able to tackle the strongest ones. Yeah, encourages more building of PVM Pokemon. Individual raids aren't especially time-consuming to produce either. We have one over 150 designed already, so there's a lot of need. Uh, there's a lot of sorry. There's less of a need to reuse the same battle for different player groups from a developer perspective. And we can create more in each difficulty tier instead. We may consider harder rematches for event raids, but probably not for the main feature. All right, so there it is. Like, they plan on adding essentially a little bit of an ELO system. They have 150 plus des designs. And we won't be seeing, it seems like, the boss itself, the world also means that its hit ability can't be very valuable if everyone can easily obtain it by playing on a lower difficulty. Okay, interesting. Yeah, this is some pretty big raids information, some pretty exciting new stuff. Hopefully this was informative, helpful. If it was, like the video. If not, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for daily Pokemon videos. Follow the Twitch for streams like this. Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Discord's down below. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, YouTube membership, Twitch part, you guys know the drill. Have a great day. Have fun. I'm excited for raids. Hopefully you guys are as well. They're probably still a bit away, a ways away. 
uh, but I would I would guess this is a huge guesstimation so don't take this as an ETA please this is I'm not a developer um, but I would guess three months or so three to six um, that's kind of how long it took for alpha swarms to be uh, polished and then put into the game permanently so that's that's what I'm basing it off of huge guesstimation take it with a huge grain of salt that's just my opinion my thoughts my guess anyways thanks for watching have a good one